I'm here with the take two, but the lighting is better and everything is better using my phone than using this ancient antique computer here. Uh, I made a video with that computer and the video worked out okay, but I found out that I couldn't upload it to YouTube because everything that has to do with uploading it, the operating system is too old to run the, um, the uploader on YouTube and it's too old to run the proper, the whole operating system is inadequate to run anything that would upload things to YouTube these days. But I used to use that computer all the time back in the old days. So this is not a neck pour anymore. This is the St. Leger uh, Scotch whiskey, blended Scotch whiskey since 1776. It says here, a Scotch whiskey classic. Superbement assemblé au goût, goût, Merlot. Uh, that would be in English, a smooth tasting Scotch whiskey of truly classic quality. 1.14 liters and 40% alcohol by volume. I've already, I've already had three drams of this, so this will not be a first impression at all. I opened it today. And I did so because there's not enough room for these 1.14 liter bottles to fit in my luggage. So I thought I would do it here. Uh, what you could call uh, on location in Montreal. And yes, I'm on location in Montreal. I've been here a couple days already, two days into my vacation. I will pour some St. Leger. Yeah, I don't have a proper Glencairn glass, but, you know, these brandy snifters seem to work pretty good for giving me an approximation of the smell and taste that I would get using uh, a proper Glencairn. But on the back, we're to see what this marketing blurb says here. It says here, since 1776, the St. Leger Classic established by Major General A. St. Leger has been a time-honored tradition in the United Kingdom. St. Leger and Company Limited honors the rich and traditional, the rich tradition with an exquisitely blended, smooth-tasting Scotch whiskey of truly classic quality. Refund where applicable, and it says here, distilled for mise en bouteille par pour, mise en bouteille pour, that's distilled for. St. Leger, Scotch, Glasgow, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Uh, www. St. Leger, Scotch.com. Okay. Well, it says it's Scotch whiskey, so it's, it's from Scotland. And it's a big honking bottle, too. Yeah. Right away, I'm getting some corn sweetness. It's, it's malt, a little bit malty. Barley sugar, but I'm also getting the corn sweetness, so it's a combination of the two. Got some butterscotch. Definitely a fruity component, too. Orchard fruits like pears. Some vanilla. And there's a little bit of peat smoke. It reminds me a lot of the standard Cuddy Sark. Not the Prohibition edition, but the, the standard Cuddy Sark. It's got a little bit of malt in there. A little bit of corn. And what else am I getting here? I got this last time too. A little bit of marshmallow. Not bad. It's the kind of thing you want with a cold, 
glass with of water with ice in it next to you. It's a summertime kind of blended scotch. It's not going to be overly taxing. It's just going to hit the spot. And that's what it's doing so far on the nose. On the palate. Mm. On the palate, there's a sweetness. There's a corn sweetness. There's a barley sugar sweetness. It's a little bit malty. There's some fruity notes as well. And just a hint of peat smoke. Just a hint. There's almost none. It's a very Speyside kind of, mostly Speyside. If there's any malt whiskey in there, it's mostly Speyside. There might be a bit of Kalila or something like that in there. But this could be blended from who knows how many scotches are in there and how much of this is grain you know 80 percent of it might be grain whiskey and how old is it there's no age statement is it chill filtered probably is it colored most likely but it does have a little bit of uh look you can see some drops there you can see some legs going down but these glasses have not been washed in many years, so it's possible that there's a little bit of oiliness or dust that the water, the whiskey is sticking to. It's not very viscous. It's light, it goes down easy. And now, on the aftertaste, on the finish, I'm getting, it's not a very long finish, I'm getting some more, a little bit malty, a little bit smoky, a little bit of apricot fruit, a little bit of fruit, but the one thing that I got towards the end, on the nose, and I'm also getting quite a bit on the finish, is marshmallows. And this works. Okay, it's a little bit harsh on the tongue, even for 40% alcohol by volume, but most of it goes down smooth. And uh, it's not bad. It's nowhere near great, but for a blended scotch, it'll do the job if you like mixing. This will mix very well even though I'm no expert on mixing I don't usually mix but I I can drink this with a lot of water and enjoy the experience getting a tiny little bit of a buzz with the cooling off effects of the water better than drinking water alone I'd say but yeah we got a hot summer day and the air conditioning is not working so we make the best of what we got and Saint Leger while it may not be the best it's what we got <laughs> here in Montreal and I've been dying to try this for years and now I finally had a taste of it and for an inexpensive blend it was forty dollars for this um, 1.15 liter or 1.14 liter that's the, what a 60 pounder for 40 bucks that would translate to about $25 or $26 for a for a, a, a 26 or for a 750 mil that's almost down in the price league of uh, Alberta premium which I was not able to find here in Montreal yet. I, you know, Alberta premiums everywhere out west, but uh, over here, I haven't seen it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, Slanchava.
Food quick. 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 Food